Hello everyone, I'm supposed to be a blessing. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. Today is November the 4th, 2021. This is a reading for Scorpios, Cancers, and Pisces, who represent the water signs. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I'm so silly. But anyway, yeah, y'all represent the water signs. And with that being said, we're going to get right into your reading. Before I start this reading, though, please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Subscribe, please, and thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment because I do read those and I will answer you back. With that being said, the first and first card that came out for you guys is the Magician card. Let me know that you've been manifesting a lot of great things to come into your life. I feel like you plant seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth. And every time you try to manifest something or try to be in your own groove, minding your own damn business, got somebody who try to come up against you here with the five of wands. Lots of competition energy here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to try to uh, walk a mile in your shoes, but they can't. You see what I'm saying? Instead of them trying to stay in their own lane, they trying to come in your fucking lane. You have the lover's card, and I do see some heartache and pain here. So in regard to somebody's loving relationship, there could be some competition. Maybe whoever you're going with is with somebody else as well. It's going to cause a lot of heartache and pain down the line for you guys. Then you're going to be seeking um, some type of um, healing that's going to take place. This, the star card is a wish fulfillment card. It's about healing as well as like balancing some things out. So once again, like I said, you're going to be manifesting a lot of great things to come into your life with the Magician card. Plant seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth. However, you do have some haters here. You know, people who try to come up against you. People who try to be like you. Somebody could be trying to take your identity. Things of that sort. Um, in regard to a loving relationship. Um, somebody's going to be breaking up, you know, it's going to cause a whole lot of heartache and pain. Somebody you thought that you were going to be happy with. You're not going to be happy with that person. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on. So healing is definitely going to take place with the devil card. It's a lot of temptation, um, some stalking because they're going to be paying close attention to you now because you ain't dealing with their ass no more. It also talks about you overindulging in things. So if you're overeating or drinking or smoking or something like that, get that in text. Stand in your strength, trust and believe in yourself. Some of you could be dealing with, with Leos. Um, yeah, you've been stabbing in their back so fucking much because every time you turn around, it's like, uh, these motherfuckers coming out the woodwork on your ass is what I'm seeing. You over here trying to mind your own damn business, trying to accomplish some shit, doing you with your spiritual ass self. And yeah, you have enemies coming up against you. So you have to stand your ground. You know, fight these motherfuckers out for you with the seven of ones, defending yourself against other, going to hermit mode so you can um analyze how you're gonna come up against your enemies since they wanna come at you and talk out the side of their neck and come up to you with bullshit. You gotta be ready to put a foot in their ass and keep it moving. Use your intuition with the high pieces here. Mm-hmm. Um, don't play no games with these motherfuckers. Somebody from your past here is definitely trying to come back into your life. Somebody's not getting enough rest and to rejuvenate your mind, your body, and your spirit. Trying to make a head of a hard decision in regard to someone or someone. Needing to keep it moving and not really worry about this fucking shit. I do see some, um, somebody want to go to counseling in regard to something here. You know, try to make things work out with somebody, but that shit didn't work out. Um, everybody just ain't fucking. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't handle... Um, what's on your life? So you can't be with them. You see what I'm saying? Spirits are gonna send you somebody who's that's rightfully your mate. The two of wands here is talking about um somebody's waiting on a call. You see, she holding her phone. She's waiting. She's at a crossroads in her life, trying to figure out what to do. I say she, but it could definitely be a he. You know, tarot is either R. Waiting to make a decision, trying to decide which road to go on. There's a Leo set of Aries that could be watching you guys here. Um, or this could be you passionately waiting in regard to to receive a call from somebody. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. You've been through a tire moment, which is a life lesson. So it's up to you to pass the test. You could be saying everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is fucked up. People stabbing you in the back, treating you less than and this and that. She got all these swords in her and she's saying, everything is fine. Everything is not fucking fine. Stop saying it and don't hold that shit in. Speak your mind. Say what the fuck you mean. Somebody's up and they can't sleep, worried and stressed about this situation. And don't be crying over no motherfucking body. Fuck them. If they not for you, they ain't for you. Let they ass go. I mean, shit. The Empress card talks about birthing out new exciting things. You have the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment and happiness is definitely yours. You can birth out what you want. You're magical than a motherfucker. And there's a watery energy of yours. You know, you can manifest who you want. 
personally, I think spirits should send them to you. But you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? You want that. You want the best on this side of things. You want to feel emotional fulfillment and happy. You want the happy home life and things like that. Shit, the golden ring, the pick and white fence and all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of clarity and truth that's definitely coming your way along with finances. going to be increasing with the Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot of wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. Be careful what you wish for because you just may get it. And be careful what you experience for, okay? Be specific. Somebody's very guarded here. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing because you should always stay guarded because you just don't know. You know, people be cr cracking up like cuckoo puffs and shit, you know. Mm-hmm. So you got to stay guarded. That keeps you aware and fully at work, you know. So be guarded at all times to protect your mind, your heart, and your spirit. Somebody's carrying a heavy load here. This means you pick up on your shit as well as other people's stuff. That's why you care so much. Good thing about this card is an ending card. So with all endings come new beginnings. I do see here your creativity is definitely high here. I see creativity. I see you manifesting a lot of great things. There's a lot of sexual energy there as well. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. That the chance is going to come in and, and balance some things out for you here. This temperance card. I do see happiness here. Like I said, there's a Leo surrounding you. Leo, hello. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you guys, as you can see, underneath the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. So let's see what else is underneath here. So you have the Two of Cups, which is a, a partnership all day, every day. Somebody could definitely be passing judgment in regard to your um, two. Okay, so you were in a partnership, but there was a lot of people who was passing judgment on this partnership. They didn't want it to work out no motherfucking way. You see what I'm saying? See, people just be jealous and shit, but I see like you have other offers that's going to be coming in. Look at that. You're going to get the victory in regard to something. I'm not going to go too deep up underneath the bottom of this deck, but just so you know, when you flip shit over, see what happens. Stand in your power. Trust and believe in yourself. You can accomplish anything that you fucking want or need. And if you're walking your right path, you're going to be all right regardless. The how it is. Yes, you're going to have life lessons, but that's okay. You get up, you dust yourself off, and you keep it moving. And fuck with your haters saying, fuck them. Can they kiss your entire ass? With that being said, I miss bliss. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. If you like your own reading, call me at 347-227-5723. Have a truly blessed day. Thank you. All right, y'all. <laughs> Ah. <sighs>